Hey everybody, I hope you're having a good Friday. I just want to reflect with you on a line that Father Jeff Mewson said when St. Joe's Parish caught on fire and was all that news is fresh. His first quote in the paper was, this is a sad day for our community, but the people of St. Joseph's will rebuild. Uh, the church is not a building, it's a people. And as a people, we will rebuild. And, and that's really true. This next week, uh, the Pope is gathering cardinals, bishops, priests, lay people, um, both Catholic and Protestant, men and women from all over the world to gather for the Synod on Synodality. And it's a time where he's trying to draw the church together. And I'm here by some pictures, the picture of St. Rose and picture of people from our parish and my family and friends. Um, because he's wanted to ask the question, what do we need to be disciples of Jesus Christ? How do we follow him more intensely, um, more faithfully in our current times? And that's a, a great question for all of us to be asking, but that's what the the church as a whole is asking. Every, everywhere across the world, the Pope is leading us in that. So what I want to ask you is to please pray for that. Please pray for this synod. It starts on October 4th, so this next Wednesday, the Feast of St. Francis. So not bad for Pope Francis to start a synod on his feast day. Um, but please pray for this. It might be a time of deep listening to the Holy Spirit and that we would have the courage to follow the Holy Spirit when he get, guides us in ways that are maybe uncomfortable um, or maybe we don't want to hear, but are what the Lord wants for us. Um, so please pray for that. It, most of us are not going to that synod. Um, we haven't been invited, but um, uh, we can pray and we're all called to participate. And so Archbishop Samples asked everybody to please pray and participate in this synod on synodality. This next week, too, please pray for all of us priests um, in the Archdiocese of Portland. We're going away on convocation. This is a time for us to take a, a few days apart together, um, to gather around our bishop. We'll be in Newport at the beach, which is not a bad location, uh, just to have a different uh, scenery for everybody, except for the priest in Newport. And, uh, and then we're going to pray together, and we're going to hear messages together, and we're going to try and... Uh, deepen ourselves in this Eucharistic amazement that the bishops of the United States are having us focus on right now. Um, and so how we can co come back and serve all of you better. I'm going to be praying for you, and I pray for you every day, and I hope that the Lord sustains you with his grace and his hope as we become the church on fire that he has called us to be. God bless you.